Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss about chronic lymphocytic leukemia. So what is CLL? CLL is a neoplastic disorder and is characterized by monoclonal proliferation of B lymphocytes. These B lymphocytes, they are mature in nature but they are immunologically incompetent so that the plasma cells which are formed from these B lymphocytes, they are defective. Now, Firstly, we will discuss about the clinical presentation, then going to the staging and then we will discuss about the laboratory features. So, the CLL principally occurs, the median age of presentation is around 65 to 70 years. That is, it occurs mostly over 50 years of age. It is common in males as compared to females. Now, the presentation is the patient can present either with vague features of weakness, weight loss, repeated infections because as we discussed, the B lymphocytes, they are immunologically incompetent or there can be symptoms related to the anemia or thrombocytopenia which is also associated with CLL. Uh, the most common form of presentation is generalized lymphadenopathy. However, uh, the patient the CLL can be also incidental finding on peripheral blood smear. Now, uh, discussing the laboratory features, firstly the peripheral blood examination. Now, the total leukocyte count is increased because this is um, primarily it involves the WBC series, the DLC is increased and is usually more than 50,000 per cubic mm. As you remember, the normal WBC count was less than 11,000 per cubic mm and mostly the 80% of the cells which are neoplastic they are lymphocytes. Now these lymphocytes they are uh, neoplastic in uh, this case. Their appearance, let's discuss about their appearance. We can see this is a malignant lymphocyte in case of CLL. So it resembles the mature lymphocyte as it has high NC ratio, the cytoplasm is less as compared to the nucleus, the uh, chromatin is clumped and there is no nucleoli present or the nucleoli is very inconspicuous. Now, we can also find in this uh, uh, smear, there are presence of smudge cells. So, what are smudge cells? These are very characteristic of CLL. So, they are also known as basket cells and they are... Uh, produced due to spreading of blood film on the glass slide because of the fragility of the lymphocyte cell membrane. They break down and they form smudge cells and they are very characteristic of CLL. Now, uh, here in this picture we can see this is not a mature lymphocyte. This is known as pro-lymphocyte. As we can see it has more cytoplasm and we can also find there is nucleoli presence. This is pro lymphocyte now why we are discussing this because sometimes in cases of CLL pro lymphocytes are also formed uh, they are also found and if they are increased in number if the total number of uh, neoplastic population has 10 to 55 percent of pro lymphocytes uh, it is labeled as CLL PLL however if the neoplastic cells more than 55% they are pro lymphocyte this is labeled as pro lymphocytic leukemia this has a worse prognosis than CLL now uh, discussing the diagnostic criteria related to CLL so diagnosis of uh, CLL should be considered when there is an elderly patient and which presents with Firstly, first is absolute lymphocytosis, more than in peripheral blood smear, more than 5000. So, uh, you must remember this is absolute lymphocytosis, this is not TLC. This is uh, only the lymphocyte count uh, in the peripheral blood smear. Second is these lymphocytes uh, should have a characteristic morphology of a mature lymphocyte. That means they should be small, they should be mature looking with high NC ratio, they should, the nuclei should be round to oval, there should be clumped chromatin and there should presence of smudge cells is a very characteristic feature as we discussed earlier. Now other a very important diagnostic criteria is presence of uh, B cell markers when we do immunophenotyping. We will discuss about this later on and lastly the bone marrow should also show more uh, increased number of small lymphocytes.
now discussing about immunophenotyping so immunophenotyping provides a very definitive diagnosis in case of CLL and uh, in this case uh, CLL cells they show membrane phenotype of early B cells they don't show um, membrane phenotyping of mature B cells however early B cell markers are seen so which markers are present uh, they express CD19, CD20, these are weakly expressed, CD5 and 23, they are positive in this case, and surface immunoglobulin can also be found weakly. Uh, either a kappa lambda uh, uh, marker can be present on the surface of the cells, which supports the clonal origin of the lymphocytes. Only uh, kappa or lambda both are not present suggesting that this is clonal monoclonal in nature now let's discuss the complications of CLL firstly the infection as we discussed the B cells are immunologically incompetent there is hypo, hypo gamma globulinemia and also following the therapy after the therapy there is neutropenia there is depletion of T lymphocytes which lead to infections second is there is anemia and anemia can be autoimmune hemolytic anemia and there is thrombocytopenia uh, thirdly there can be second malignancies after the treatment like skin cancer and, and other solid tumors lastly there is a Richter syndrome which is associated now CLL is uh, not uh, it, it doesn't have such a worse prognosis but Richter syndrome is a development of a diffuse large cell lymphoma in a patient with pre-existing CLL this has a very worse prognosis now going to the staging staging there are two staging which are followed in CLL one is the rise staging second is the Binet staging uh, it's very easy to remember this staging rise staging firstly stage 0 is only lymphocytosis in blood and marrow second uh, the first stage is lymphocytosis along with lymph adenopathy thirdly if lymphocytosis is associated with hepatomegaly or splenomegaly it falls into category 2 there is third stage which is associated there is lymphocytosis and there is anemia that is hemoglobin is less than 11 lastly fourth stage is lymphocytosis and thrombocytopenia less than 1 lakh now other form of staging is the Binet staging now in Binet staging there is three stages there is A B and C in A stage there is no anemia there is no thrombocytopenia there are fewer than three lymph node areas which are enlarged that means either cervical chain, axillary chain, inguinal chain can be enlarged or spleen or liver can be involved but it should be less than 3. Second is category B in which there is no anemia, no thrombocytopenia but 3 or more than lymphoid areas can be enlarged and category C is the, if there is presence of anemia or thrombocytopenia. So this was about Rye and Binet staging which is seen in CLL. This was all about the CLL. Do ask any queries regarding this topic. Like, share and subscribe to this channel if you like these type of videos. Thank you.